Well, for the 15th anniversary of the Nebraska Passport, there are 15 bonus stops that are featured this year, and they are made up of fan favorites. Our Lavender Company has been featured on the Passport before. The farm business near Big Springs is back on the Passport this year as a fan favorite bonus stop. In this segment, we travel four miles south of Interstate 80 at Big Springs to learn more about Our Lavender Company. Hi everybody, we are near Big Springs and we are learning more about our lavender company and joining me now is Peggy Pulser and Peggy, you are a co-owner of this. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this business and who operates it and how this all started. Um, well, it's myself and my two daughters, uh, Stephanie Anderson and Nicole Pulser. Stephanie lives right here on the farm, just down the road, and um, my other daughter, Nicole, lives in Minneapolis. Stephanie, she is, um, she is the face of our lavender. It's, she's the reason we're here. It was um, through her time, uh, after she had Bronx, her second child, that she uh, fell into postpartum. And during that dark season of her life, uh, the lavender desire bloomed. And um, so that's why we're here. What did you do then when uh, she decided she wanted to do the lavender? Well, we, um, we called this gentleman from Squim, Washington and um, visited with him over the phone. We read an article that was wrote about him in Reader's Digest. And um, we, uh, so then we called him and talked to him about it and he encouraged us to come to Squim and visit with him with soil data and uh, rainfall data, that type of thing. And we went there and visited with him, saw what he did and uh, we ordered 2,500 plants. and. Then came home. I know you had a little bit of hiccups maybe <laughs> along the way. Yeah, we're, um, we're still trying to figure it out. Zone 5 doesn't always mean Zone 5. Zone so 5 is the climate is area? Our, yeah, that's our zone of where we uh, need to concentrate on the, the plants. If it can live in Zone 5, it should live here. Not so much in Nebraska. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so with our winds and erratic winters, it's um, a little bit of a challenge. And so we, we are still trying to figure out what variety works here. We've got, out of the 18 variety that we have, three of them really like it here. You are on a corn farm, Yes, right? we are. Yeah, you're, Third generation. You, you pull right in here and the, the equipment's all around, the machine mm -hmm. shed's right here, but your store is right inside the machine shed, essentially. Uh -huh. Give us an idea of what is in here. What are visitors gonna see when they come here? When they walk in, it's a, it, this used to be our office. My husband, um, gave us his office. We just put some, Nicole kind of told us how to make these shelves and what she wanted it to look like, her and Stephanie. And uh, yeah, we just uh, make a lot of the product from our harvest right here on the farm. Oh. And then Stephanie will find a few things to come alongside beside, like tea towels and things that we don't make, but we wholesale. We do hydrosol, we do bath bombs and shower melts, lotions. Peggy, what else did you want to mention that you sell here? Yeah, we do um, jams, uh, the blueberry lavender jam and the peach lavender jam. The peaches are from Palisade, Colorado. Uh, we buy them fresh and then we do the lavender extract from um, uh, one of the varieties called Royal Velvet, which has a vanilla undertone to it. Why do you think people like lavender? Lavender is so, um, such a real unique herb. You know, it's antibacterial and antimicrobial. So you can flavor your food with it. It's just such a unique plant. Thank you very much, yeah. Peggy, for being here and telling us about our lavender company.